Tonight, a call to end hatred. This past weekend, an apparent Nazi group protested a drag brunch right here in Columbus. 10 TV's Richard Solomon spoke with city leaders and advocates, and Richard joins us now live in studio with their message. Richard? Yolanda, Andrew, those I spoke with tell me this was a clear reminder of just how far we've come, but also how much farther we have to go. And I'm told in the most important moments, love conquered all. With so many thoughts running through Aaron Upchurch's mind. <sighs> all she can do is take a breath. Yeah, it took us back a bit to see that. A breath to the fact that hate still has a pulse. Instead of creating space for expansion and understanding, they just want to eradicate it. Upchurch is the executive director of Kaleidoscope Youth Center. She says on Saturday, she watched an apparent group of neo-Nazis gather, shout and spew hate towards members of the LGBTQ plus and transgender community. They were at land grant for KYC's second annual drag brunch and fundraiser. It's wanting to limit our collective ability to grow and expand and to really honor who we are as people. Videos like this were posted to social media and immediately it caught the attention of several city leaders who condemned the group, like Mayor Andrew Ginther and Columbus City Council President Shannon Hardin. The city of Columbus is a, is a city of love, of peace, of acceptance, of inclusion. Hate has no home here. Upchurch says what got them through was coming together and showing what was most important. We made sure that our love and our affirmation and reminding people who we are together was much louder. She says this is a small act of hate and an even greater example of togetherness. We cannot meet hate with hate. And Upchurch tells me they were hoping to raise a few thousand dollars at that fundraiser, but when I spoke with her earlier this evening, she says that number is well over $50,000.